all right, hello everyone. Um, my name is Hansi, I come from Austria, from Linz. And I'm gonna talk about how to use Blender to make music. First, I wanna give you some backstory. So I work as a freelance programmer, which means I often get to work on very strange projects. So this was in, in 2012, that explains the resolution also. Um, and it was this startup company that wanted to make tables which you can print on. So you upload your own images, so you could work with SVGs. And they wanted to preview how the tables would look in a nice style. And at this time, there was no way really, without Flash, which wasn't allowed to use, to do this in a browser. So um, I, did, I did some research, and I looked at all the big 3D application. And nothing was really feasible except Blender. So this is how it came out in the end after you uploaded your images. Um, and it worked really well. I mean, I had no idea of Blender before. I just started looking at the Blender cookie tutorials and learned how to script it. And I think I had the basic system running in half a day, which really impressed me. And then I started to get very addicted to Blender. So <laughs> after, even after the project, um, I would always watch the tutorials during eating and before going to bed. And I made a lot of uh, silly things. So, uh, this is a video uh, of a cuttlefish. I don't know what I was doing, just something with the deform. Yeah, it moves nice, and I liked it. Um, then I did the nose, nose flute 3D model. It's when people snore, you can put it in their nose, and they make to make music instead of snoring is very useful. And maybe it will be 3D printed one day. <laughs> um, <laughs> I made this uh, website, it's called Beyond Today, and it's, uh, it concerns itself with the digital afterlife. So you see this, uh, the Blender model, which button is the, the laser pointer? Yeah. So this is the Blender model I made. It's a chip you put in your leg and you connect it to your artery and it uses this as a generator for power to load a battery and then when you die your bloodstream stops and it can upload a message to Facebook where you say goodbye <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> so I, I mean for me really any excuse was good and I just <laughs> really got into Blender. Um, so this was maybe some point in 2013 or something. Um, and then I went to this place for the first time. This is Halein, it's a tiny town in Austria. And uh, it's an old salt factory that's not in use anymore. So once a year, I think since almost 15 years, they have this festival, it's, it's kind of small, it's two to three hundred people and it's a big mess. So there's dancers, there's musicians, there's programmers. It's I don't understand the concept, but it's good fun to go there. Um, this is the big workspace where everyone sits. It's called the wood, because there's lots of wood. And then I met this guy, Chris, the mean-looking man. And he, at this time, was working on uh, oscilloscope music, he called it. Because he's, he's an audio engineer. And before I explain too much about it, I'll show you what he showed me then. And I'll just show you an excerpt so it doesn't get too long. I'll just show you the first minute. Um, and you have to go on the web to, to search for it. It gets quite more musical later, but um, I think I'm in a hurry already, so let's not spend too much time. So what, what's, what's going on here? Um, who knows this device? Who has, who has used this before? Oh, this is good, so I skipped this really fast. 
<laughs> I didn't expect this. So yes, it's an oscilloscope. Uh, it has this big, big thing on the side, um, and that switches it to X. You can switch it to X Y mode. So you move a dot. You can put. Uh, this is when you turn it on. You get the. Oh, whoosh. sorry. Once more. Yes. Okay, so you turn it on, you get the dot, and you connect any signal, like a battery, your power outlet, uh, or music, and it moves the dot left, right. You connect something down here, it moves it up, down. Uh, so we go faster, because everyone knows. So I made some, some demos, because I couldn't bring the oscilloscope here. So I'm playing some audio. It's so low, you can't hear it. It's one hertz. Moves the dot up and down. Um, we make it faster. Now you can start to hear something, hopefully, yeah, on just one side. Um, when you have the same signal on both channels, you get a diagonal line, because X and Y move in sync. So you erase a little chunk, and then that's, that's where the fun begins. I mean, then you can get ellipses and circles, depending on how much you erase from the signal. Am I just quick question? Am I going too fast? Okay. Um, it's even more interesting when you do things like you double the frequency of one of the channels. You get this figure eight, and those are called Lisa Shoe figures, and that's what you saw in the video before, and you can get very expressive, and you can do a lot of things with this. Um, so anything that vaguely looks like this, kind of like a, a nice, I call it a long squiggle, you can do. Um, and the mathematical term is a parametric equation. Uh, and it's really good to do abstract things, but it makes it kind of hard to, to do concrete things. So Chris showed me this, and then we didn't meet for a year. And a year later, we met again at the same place. And I had used more Blender. And then I kind of had this idea that you could reverse the process. So here I'm showing how to reverse the process, so you see I'm just moving my finger like this. And then on the left and uh, right and bottom, you see how the wave should look that you end up with this shape. So you, you're just thinking the other way around. You think about the image, and you generate the sound. So of course, with a spiral, it gets bigger. And with a rectangle or a triangle, it will be very uh, rectangular. And you also hear this difference. Um, so, of course, the natural thing to do, because I was so into Blender at this time, was to see if I could hook this up to Blender. And it worked. I think it took me only three days, maybe, uh, to produce this. This was the first, the first successful test. It's, it's just some uh, Walking Man animation I found on Blendswap.com because I didn't know enough about Blender to do rigging still. Um, and so then we worked on this a long time, uh, Chris and I, actually two years. And this is the first version of the screen uh, of the application. <laughs> you see, it's even upside down. I didn't care. You see Blender in the background, and there's this application. They communicate over network. And it sends over the data, and then this tries to find a path. The colors somehow denote how which path was found through the mesh. And then worked on it a lot more. Got like features to get multiple groups, and uh, edit support for Bezier curves, which are really nice to edit in Blender. It's a pretty good editor for this, I find. And then this was beginning of this year. I I don't know, I changed my mind and made it look very different. I find audio applications must be dark or they're not taken seriously, so I made it very black. Um, and now I'm going to give you a, a very brief, I'm trying to keep it to five minutes, a uh, demo of how the application looks now and how it's, how it's used in conjunction with Blender. It's OK if I remove this screen so I have a chair. Oh, maybe I can take one chair. Oh. So the application was released um, 
three weeks ago, together with this music album, Oscilloscope Music, that's the title of the entire project. And the application is called OSCI Studio. So you open it up, you're greeted with uh, an understandable setting screen, and you pick the audio. So this is how the application looks, and then you also need Blender. And I have it preloaded already, so there's a plugin down here. And you press this, and then so let's make this full screen. And then so it sends over the data, and now you can work with this mesh data in a musical way, so you can rotate it in 3D space. Or you can also just have it continuously rotate. Any change you make here uh, gets uh, quite immediately reflected to the model. The interesting thing about it to me is that you live in between the worlds when you do this. Like you change the geometry, it changes the sound. You change the sound, it changes the geometry. Uh, so here, if I activate this, this by the way is a total ripoff of, of Blender's modifiers thing. I, I decided it's a good idea. I'm going to do the same thing. So here I'm just um, removing most of the model and just showing some parts. But here I can turn it into a grid. And then, of course, uh, you always... Oh, I'm going to show you my favorite. <laughs> Let's disable this. My favorite is uh, the ball. It turns everything into a ball. Um, and of course you can um, you can animate all these parameters so you there's this timeline view and then you just do your thing there um, I think that's good enough for a demo I mean here you have the frequency that's also interesting changing how fast it runs doesn't change the image it's just one degree of freedom you have you can modulate the signal Um, I have a million videos online of me messing around with it. Um, so I think, um, yeah, I think it's good enough for a demo. And maybe I already say goodbye. <laughs> um, I almost say goodbye. So that's the, that's the website, oscilloscopemusic.com. It's also the entire album that Chris made. He's, he's like, he's actually the one doing the music. Um, it's there, it's linked, it's a YouTube playlist. You can just watch it, and that's our website, so cherubimfenderson.net, and I, as a programmer, don't really have a website at the moment. So it's just my YouTube where I upload all my mess, unfiltered. And I'm going to leave you with uh, a video that's three and a half minutes. It's one of the tracks of the album that was made completely with this software and Blender. It's uh, that's the audio you're seeing. It's not visuals. It's the audio. All right.
There's a few more things I want to say. So thanks to the Blender community, especially Olsen. I don't know how he is. He's an IRC, and he always helped me with my programming. Is you? No. I don't know who he is. Um, also, thanks to Open Frameworks. It's this C++ programming library I've been using for all of this. And uh, Blender Cookie. I've had some good times on their YouTube. Is it CG Cookie? No, I never understand. Anyways, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>